guys, welcome back or welcome if this is your first time here. I'm Madalena and this is my channel, the place where I'm sharing with you my journey to veganism and to more conscious living. Today I am going to share the second recipe from the vegan holiday series and um, for now I don't have a blog post for this recipe so you're going to find all the ingredients in the video and uh, you can take a print screen with them and I'm gonna put the ingredients in the description box too in the future when I'm gonna find the time to write the blog post I am gonna link it in the description box also but until then you have only the ingredients in the description box and in the video and you're gonna see how I make this recipe okay um, it's a no-bake tart and um, you're gonna see what I'm talking about okay as I promised you have here all the ingredients so you can take a print screen and save it for later and promise to link the blog post in the description box when it's ready so yeah this is what I have so lemons they're not that big so I'm gonna use the juice from both of them and also they're quite sweet so yeah that's why sugar as you can see it's a dessert recipe not the healthiest one but still it's better some cornstarch soaked dates I soaked this about 15 minutes in really hot water I used peanut butter but you can use sunflower butter or almond butter it's actually better to use almond or sunflower because the taste is not that strong one and a half cups of oats the coconut milk I used a full can of that full, full fat one and half of the can for, from the low fat one and I processed the oats until I had a coarse flour and set them apart then blend the dates until I have a paste just added one or two tablespoons of the water when I have a, almost a paste I added the peanut butter and blend it again until I had a smooth paste and then added the oat flour and blend it until I had a dough consistency quite firm but still holding pretty well to form a pie crust so this is how it looks and I set the, that in the fridge to cool until I made the custard to start just grate your lemons just grate the zest and then squeeze the juice as I said, if you have small lemons or sweet ones like I had, uh, you can use the juice from the both of them. If it's just a big lemon, if you have big lemons, you are okay with using the juice just from one lemon. So, yeah. And depends how sour you like your dessert to be. It's that simple. Okay, so now I prefer to add the cornstarch to the lemons, uh, lemon juice because I don't want to add some extra water. I like my custard to be so creamy and so delicious. So yeah, I used 4 heaping tablespoons and I added uh, the coconut milk. This is the full fat one and this is the half of the low fat one just add them into a pan and stir everything else to combine this is so simple just add the zest, the sugar and the lemon juice with the cornstarch in it and stir until you have a thick custard this is gonna take probably somewhere between 5 to 10 minutes depending on your stove as you can see I'm adding the lemon juice with the cornstarch 
and stir again until you have a, a custard. So as you can see, it's starting to thicken in only one minute or so. One minute or so. It's not that hard to make this pie, and the best part, it's a no bake one, so you don't have to have your oven uh, occupied and you can make something else let the custard cool for a little bit and then pour it over in the crust and let it set for at least two hours or overnight it's best so that's it guys this is so simple to make yeah i have to put my finger in it and this is how it looks it's not it's not hard to make it, but believe me, it's so delicious, it's sweet and sour, more sour and amazing. Try it and let me know how it works. So this was the second recipe of the vegan holiday series. I hope that you like it. And you have to know that this recipe, it's a little bit more sour. So if you like sweeter things, you have to add more sweetener or make the apple tart that I published a few days ago so yeah I think that this is gonna be everything for the sweet recipes and the next ones are gonna be savory some entrees and um, a main also so or maybe more than one main we'll see how much time I'm gonna I'm gonna have because oh my gosh this Past weeks, past week and these past weeks were quite hectic for me. I was on call a lot, I had a lot of things to do until late in the evening in the clinic, so it was harder to film. But I hope that you're gonna like what I'm putting here. Okay, with all this I hope that you're gonna make this, the recipes that I'm showing you and if you like this please give it a thumbs up comment follow me here on instagram you have all the links of my social media in the description box below so you can easily follow me if you want and please hit the subscribe button and not the notification button right next to the subscribe button okay okay Bye now, see you Friday with a new video from the vegan series, vegan holiday series. Go vegan!